Hi, this is Sunil from uh, Informatica MDM support. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable HDD, that is hard lead detection in MDM. As we know, many source system applications uh, do not have a mechanism uh, for tracking the deletion of a record. When these systems provide the data to MDM, we receive uh, information about inserts on updates, but there is no information about deletion deleted a record by a source system so in order to uh, track the deleted records from the source system uh, we use this hard delete detection so this is the agenda for the video uh, uh, creating HDD repos tables compiling HDD PLB file adding code that is HDD code in post load user exit and post stage user exit then we can see the demo so as we know we don't have uh, by, uh, by default this HDD functionality so in order to enable this HDD you need to request or you need to get the HDD package from support or uh, from a KB article so you will see uh, uh, when you get a HDD package you will see these two files that is that is technical bulletin and MRM hard delete uh, detect package that is PLB file so if you open this uh, bulletin so you can see that uh, it gives you what is hard delete detection and what is uh, the architecture and how it works what is the mechanism behind this and then later it provides what are the repos tables uh, we need to create in ORS that is we can enable HDD on ORS level that is for each ORS we need to enable HDD so these are the repos tables so we need to create in uh, ORS so initially C repos external hard delete detect this is the main table so once we created this table we can give the comments for the columns so this is optional so once you execute these comments then you need to create some constraint check constraints and unique constraint see here uh, so since uh, as we know that there are two types of HDDs that is direct and consensus that's why we, uh, we are going for this check constraints and the indicators are 0 or 1 0 indicates uh, whether HDD is enabled or not then then has a uh, end date the end date check constraint then row ID table unique constraint so once we created this uh, this uh, check constraints then we can we have to create uh, one foreign key constraint on C repos table so there is a foreign so why we need this foreign key constraints you can see here the foreign key can must be defined with on delete cascade right? because so as we know that we store uh, uh, the details in C repos external hard delete direct table so once you delete, uh, for suppose if you delete uh, a table from C repos table, so the in the information should be deleted from this uh, C repos external hard delete detect. So that's why we are creating this foreign key constraint. So once you uh, uh, created this foreign key constraint, commit the changes. Then we need to insert the metrics for this HDD. As we know, for each job. Uh, has its own metrics for load jobs like for math job we have a matrix at the same time we have a matrix for this HDD as well so we need to insert this record in our C repos job metric type so with this uh, we complete all the repos table creation so let me create all these repos tables one by one and ORS. So here I have connected to my ORS now I need to create repos tables so I copied all the repos tables which needs to be created in the ORS. So initially we are creating this repos external hard delete detect table. Let me create it. Then these comments we need to So once you create these comments, then we need to go for check constraints. That those four check constraints, alter. Then foreign key constraint. This 
this is a foreign key constraint then finally we have to insert the matrix for HVD job which will run with state job so once it is done then you can commit the changes so with this uh, we created all the repos tables the next step is uh, compiling our PLB so in order to compile our PLB um, we need to go to that ORS we need to connect to that ORS so let me connect to the ORS so in this place I have this HDD pack support HDD91 now connect to your ORS that is test ORS so I connect to test ORS now um, so we need to give that PLB file so this is the PLB file I'm executing this PLB file in uh, ORS so it got success now you can see under packages if you go to packages you can see that see here one extra package has been created that is MRM hot delete detect so once you're done with this PLB then we need to add code in postload user exit that is CMX UE package you have to go then select the body and you have to go to postload user exit and this user exit details also available in your technical bulletin here so if you go down it will show you where you need to paste the code and what is the code so here it will show you the code so this is the code this is a post landing user exit so this is the code we need to add so I'm going there so already I copied the code here so this is the code post landing user exit code so I'm copying the post load user exit code here so once you copy then you need to compile it so once it is compiled without any errors it means that you have enabled uh, HUD successfully without any errors so we added code in post learning user exit as we know there are two types of uh, hard daily detection procedures that we, I mean uh, methods the sort of like direct and the next one is consensus so in our, if you want to work with only direct uh, delete flagging then you can add post landing user exit as I told but if you want to work with uh, uh, consensus delete flagging you need to add one more post load uh, post stage user exit under CMX UE package see here it is mentioned in the uh, bulletin so in order to work with consensus delete flagging you need to add this post stage user exit as well so this is how you can enable um, HDD in your ORS so you can uh, verify these KB articles how to enable HDD how to verify enable HDD is working fine or not so uh, also uh, there is a video KB on how to verify enable HDD is working fine uh, we would love to hear from you on support uh, videos at informatica.com also we can uh, you can follow us on twitter.com or slash info support thank you for watching with this video have a nice day